Hi guys, so it is Friday morning, no, Friday afternoon, it's 2 o'clock. I literally got home at noon. I had to work both my jobs. I worked my full time last night, got home earlier this morning, then worked my part time, and I am just so tired. Like, I am, <gasps> I'm so tired. It's been a hot mess. It's been a hot mess. That's all I, that's literally all I can say. Drinking my ice water out of one of my new Starbucks cups or tumblers. I love this so much. It's like a rainbow sorbet or sherbet, however you guys pronounce it. Um, and it's so good because I feel dehydrated. Um, so I was going to do a whole sit down and film my monthly. So I'm just going to show you a few things that I've been loving over the month of June and a little bit of July. So. The first things I'm going to show you is nail polish. And I have been wearing this blue, this blue and purple nail polish so much. I just got this like two days ago. But I already know I'm going to literally wear this all month. This one is Run Wildflower by Essie. I think it's one of the groovy collection. And I want the whole groovy collection, but they didn't have them all. But I'm just loving this nail polish right now. Like... Um, I got to repaint mine. I only did two coats the other day. So this is what they look like. And it's just so pretty. Um, this blue one I literally wore all month. All month long. I kept reapplying it. And this is called You Do Blue 766. And this one is just so pretty. It's blue with like a purple shimmer to it. Oh my gosh. I love this. I don't know what it is about um lavender and baby blues but these are like my summer shades i've been wearing so many blues like this for the last four months i've been wearing a different light blue but this essie one is so good and these have the new brush which is thicker so it's easier to coat Oh my gosh, it's easier to coat your fingers. These are the two nail polishes I've been loving so much. And I really think you guys should pick these up, honestly. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm on my second face, wi face wipes. And this is the Burt's Bees Refreshing Facial Toilettes. This is the Cucumber and Mint. The last one I got was like sensitive. But this one is refreshing. I really love the one for sensitive skin, and it was literally the same package, so I kind of messed up on this one, but Burt's Bees, I've been loving these for like the last two months. I really want to try their um, face facial cream and their under eye cream, so I might pick those up soon, just because Burt's Bees is really good. Burt's Bees is a really good company for this, so I'm just going to put this in my work backpack because I work the third shift. And I really need to wash my face <laughs> at work before I leave. So I'm going to put this one in my work bag and just go buy another one today and leave it at home. And I highly recommend Burt's Bees for face towelettes, especially with those who have sensitive skin. It's like a vegan, cruelty-free, really good um, company. All natural ingredients, no animal testing, responsible sourcing, and it's recyclable. Recyclable. Recycle. Recyclable. Recyclable. I can't even say it you guys oh my gosh <laughs> that's embarrassing okay so another like hygiene thing that I've been loving since June are these two men's deodorants yes men's deodorants I'm back on them I bought them for my boyfriend and then I saw a new one and I love it so this is the one I bought for my boyfriend but I had to buy one for myself because I absolutely love it and if we would have shared it we would have been through it in like a few weeks this is the degree motion sense dry spray ultra clear black and white fresh deodorant i really like degree um and this is just the men's one so guys i don't know what they do what they put in the men's deodorant but it stays on better and it smells so good so i don't know this one lasts literally all day for me and it really helps me so this is the men's deodorant that i have been using 
And then another one that I'm obsessed with is the Old Spice Wilderness with Lavender Deodorant. Um, my boyfriend dropped it like the first day I bought this and broke the lid. So we don't have a lid for it, but I've been keeping the plastic on. And um, also it like cracked, so I have this taped up. So this case is a hot mess, but I'm still using it because I'm in love with this deodorant. I'm in love with it. I'm going to buy it again. Um, so this is what it looks like. I think because it is lavender, it is a little more feminine, but it is a masculine scent. Like, you know how Old Spice is the male, is a scent for men. Um, there's nothing feminine about this except for the slight, I can't stand in this because I went to the beach the other day, except for the light scent of lavender. I'm telling you, you guys and girls, women, try out this deodorant. Old Spice, Lavender, Wilderness. Try this deodorant out. I've been telling all my friends and my sisters to get this one because it smells so good. And I smell it all day long, like when it like gives off the scent. I guess that's when it's like working, when I'm starting to sweat. And it holds up really well. I don't smell stinky at the end of the day. All I smell is this and I'm just loving it. So these are the two deodorants that I've been using and I've been loving them. Um, okay, so for makeup, I'm going to sound like a broken record for my makeup, um, but I don't buy a lot of new makeup every single week like a lot of beauty people, beauty gurus do. So every time I show makeup, it's going to be like the same old makeup that I use for like six months, six months because I love it. Sorry, I just figured out a new lighting. Oh my gosh, I just ruined the whole video. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to show you a few makeup products I've been using recently. And you guys have seen this on my channel because I stick with what I like. And I don't buy a lot of makeup because I already have a huge collection and I'm trying to use up makeup. So, recently, since I've been working a lot, I don't do a lot of makeup. I mean, I don't do a lot of makeup anyways, but now I really don't. <laughs> um, and I just do my basic mascara. Um, right now I'm in between two of them, which is my Maybelline Marvel mascara. This is like the Colossal mascara, which is the yellow one. Really love this one from Maybelline. This is one of my favorites. I will pick up another one, but I have too many mascaras waiting to be used. This one is finally almost done, so I cannot wait to throw it away. Definitely used it more than six months, so I should probably throw it away anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna throw it away because she is getting a little dry, but this Maybelline mascara really does help my lashes. Okay, and this new one that I've been using is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Mascara. This is just the original Lash Blast, which is like the mint green. I love this. It pulls out my lashes. I barely have lashes, and it sh makes my lashes come out. Really love this mascara. And this is obviously in very black because I have no lashes. Then my, or my eyebrow routine. My eyebrows are really bad lately. I have not been taking care of them. Like I really need to just spend a night and pluck them and shape them and all that. But I haven't done that yet. So basically I've just been using my day one eyebrow pencil and this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. This is the thicker pencil because I really don't like the thin eyebrow pencils because I end up making my, my eyebrows super long and they look weird so i need a thick one to just fill it in and this has worked wonders for me for like three years and i will never stop using this one the next one is a new product this is the benefit 24 hour brow setter i love this clear brow gel i recently got this in my birthday makeup haul and i really like it it's making my lashes stay they are sticky but not like to cement so i kind of want to find something that's a little more tacky because this is just i mean this is like a medium it makes them stay but like i really want my lash my eyebrows cemented down i don't know i'm weird but um i really like this and this is really good so for blush i've been going between two this is the elf <clears throat> blush duos and this one is in leche i have hit pan one of these days i'm gonna do my project pan update i just have not been in the mood to do it um and i've just been loving this really peachy pink blush it's summer and it's making me look even more tan so that's why i'm using it and also i've been loving the bare minerals bronzer this is in kiss of pink y'all this is literally 
This is a dupe of this Kiss of Pink blush. So if you really want this but don't want to spend the $30 on the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer, I would pick up the e.l.f. one. But honestly, this is worth the price because I've been wanting this for over a year when they were sold out. And it has not disappointed. So, I mean, having both would be nice. A high end and a drugstore end. So... There's a dupe for you guys. Thing I have been using my Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. This is really great. I actually need to put it on right now because I'm about to go outside and sit with my dog. So there is that. <laughs> yeah, and then I will get back with you guys later.